Yo, how's everyone doing? It's the Econ Zone here, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about how you can win your fraudulent chargebacks. So, first things first is when you set up your Shopify store. Everyone should be doing this, it's just so easy. Open your Shopify dashboard, click on settings on the bottom left, click on payments, and then click on manage for Shopify payments. This only really works for people using Shopify payments, and so you scroll down and you find this payout section. Now what you want to do is type in your company name and um, a four digit code. So basically what happens here is when a customer places an order with your website, a charge is going to appear on a bank statement. And scammers don't usually have access to the bank account, they only really have the card details to place an order. And so by sending this four digit unique code to the bank account, the user has to verify these digits and that way you can easily know if a customer is really them or if they're a scammer. So let's move on to when you process orders. When Shopify flags an order as a high risk or medium risk order, I usually put it on hold and then check their details. So what I check is if their billing address matches the card details. If it doesn't, then this is a red flag. If the name on the card doesn't match the shipping details either, that's a red flag. Let's say the card holder's name was Bob, but the shipping name was Jack. That is completely different. And especially if the surnames don't match, then this is also a red flag. Check if they've provided CVV, the three digit code on the card. And if it didn't, then another red flag. So if an order is flagged as a medium high risk, this is what I do. I email them asking for the four digit code and I also email them asking for the bank statement or government ID. If they don't know how to find this four digit code, then I simply reply to the email and give them a walkthrough basically. And then also email them to confirm their shipping address. So all these three points within one email. And if the customer doesn't reply back with these, then usually I don't process the orders and I just cancel it. So let's just say they've actually confirmed the four digit code and they also sent you the bank statement and you're like, okay, let's process this order. You process the order, order gets shipped and when it arrives, they open a chargeback. Now, if you look at the one before, this customer opened a chargeback for a $2,000 order. It was insane. The, the stupid thing was they opened a chargeback as soon as they re received the parcels. And that was actually the best thing ever because the bank sided with us and they knew it was a scammer. They, it wasn't actually a scammer, it was a boyfriend and girlfriend working together to scam us. Um, and then the same with this chargeback as well they actually placed two orders and luckily i got their bank statement and a screenshot of the customer providing a four digit code and because it matches the code that i um, provide in the settings it basically means that the customer has access to the bank account and it's not a fraudulent order they're just trying to get away with placing a big order from a small company and then open a chargeback so what details you need to provide the bank when you reply to the chargeback. You need to provide a screenshot of the customer providing a four digit code, the payout screen showing the four digit code to show that the bank that it matches, then a screenshot of the interaction with the customer, so this could be the emails, and then any shipping details if there are any, and then timeline of event. So how I usually do it is date, time, what they did date time what they did date time blah 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 date time blah 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 and this is just makes it easy for the bank to just go through the timeline of events and yeah that's basically it guys this one simple step can basically save you thousands of pounds and, and I hope it works for you guys if you liked this video and you think everyone should be doing it as well please smash the like button and subscribe for more videos just like this one have a good week Peace.